Hello YouTube. Today I'm going to show you how to set up Mister even easier than what the setup guide shows on the website. But we'll go through that anyway. So click on uh, the setup guide. And you'll see that uh, the new Mister setup guide requires you to use Windows 10, which kind of sucks, but Oh well, I'm uh, running Windows 10 as a virtual machine. You need to download the latest uh, SD in uh, installer. And if you look on the uh, far right hand corner, you can see how old uh, the particular uh, installer is. So download the latest one. Save it to your disk. After you've downloaded the file, open the folder where you've stored it and you'll see that it's compressed using uh, WinRAR. So you'll have to download that software if you don't have it already and uh, install it. Once you've downloaded it, you'll want to open the folder and uh, install the software so you can uncompress your, your installation file. Uh, I always prefer the built-in unzip that's in Windows, so that's why I've unchecked it. Now if you haven't noticed, uh, left clicks are in green and right clicks are in yellow. Now that it's uncompressed our software, we want to uh, run the SD card utility for Mr. But you have to install uh, the .NET 3.5. And uh, I'm going to increase the speed of this so much faster than uh, what I had to put through so that you don't have to stay here and look at this at real time. Okay, now we can go back to our downloads folder and rerun the Mr. SD card installer. Now once the installer is up and running, um, if this is the first time, I recommend you uh, wipe your card. Make sure you are wiping your card and not your hard drive. When it's uh, finished, you'll see the uh, wipe completed successfully. And then do a full install. Now, as it goes through and starts processing, you'll see these uh, messages about needing to format the disk. I think you'll see three of them. So just ignore them and then hit cancel and hit OK once you're finished at the end. Now our SD card is formatted and uh, we're ready to uh, update the mister that is on the uh, on the SD card. It'll all, almost always be out of date and you want to make sure that at very least is you running the latest version. Okay, scroll down to the uh, bottom of the page and you'll see a section where it says update uh, Mr. Files. 
click on that link, click on the column on the uh, right hand side and find the one that is the newest and download that version. Okay, now we uh, need to copy the new mister to the SD card, but delete the old mister on the SD card first. And now you're going to have to rename that mister file to just mister. Remove uh, the date information. Now we're going to create uh, four folders, underscore arcade, underscore computer, underscore console, and underscore utility. So you just saw that there's all these uh, different types of machines we can uh, create. So I'm going to sh show you an example of each one of them so that you can see how it's set up. Uh, the very first uh, machine I'm going to set up is uh, Commodore 64. Uh, so we have uh, Mule as the uh, Commodore disk there. So I'm going to copy that, maybe cut it, go into computer, create a C64 folder and paste my disk image inside that folder. Next up is uh, NES-ROM, uh, Nintendo Entertainment Systems. Uh, I'm going to create an NES folder in the console directory and paste the ROM into there. Okay, now we're going to do an arcade machine, but actually I should not have uh, put the uh, zip file on the SD card. So what we're going to do is uh, we're going to our temporary file, get rid of the uh, unnecessary files that we have in this folder, uh, and then we have to go back to the Mr. site. Okay, so go back to the uh, setup area. We'll do that via the wiki again. And we're looking for Robotron. And there it is. We're going to go into the releases folder and we're going to download these three files. Downloading the files is fairly easy. Uh, for the first two, you simply click on download and then save. Then click the back button to go back to the previous area you were at. The th third one's a little trickier. Because it's a text file, you actually have to click, right click on the raw section and then click uh, save target as, and then save the file. Now let's go back to our uh, downloads folder and transfer those three files we just downloaded into our temp directory. Double click on the build ROM 
Now Windows, of course, starts complaining, so you're going to have to click on the More Info and say Run Anyway. Okay, now that uh, we've got our files, uh, you'll see there's a new ROM file. You need to copy that to the root of your Mr. Data SD card. Now I'm going to go on to uh, another step, which is not in a setup guide, which will make your life so much easier. It allows you to download all the cores at once and always keep them up to date. So what we need to do is download this updater script, Mr. Dot, uh, so this downloads all the cores for you. Make sure you have the latest and greatest. So uh, again, it's a script. It's a uh, batch file, so you have to uh, right click and choose save target as, save it to, to your, uh, your downloads directory, and copy it to the root of your Mr. SD card. Now we're finished all the steps that we need to do. Let's safely eject our SD card and move on to the actual machine itself. So I'm inserting my uh, SD card into Mr. I already have network cable hooked up and you'll see what that's used for shortly and I'm applying power. Okay, right now this this mister has no cores whatsoever. So uh, that's not going to be uh, much good to us. So what, a, what you need to do is you press F12 and you'll see that it uh, come up with my IP address. Go to scripts and run the Mr. Updater. And that will download each and every core that's available for Mr. Now we have all the cores, so let's uh, do some demos. Uh, let's do the first one, which is an arcade uh, of uh, Robotron. So we'll just look through our list here and find the Robotron core. And this is actually what it looks like on the actual arcade when you turn it on as well. And there we go, we've got uh, Robotron up and running. And there's some great things you can do. You can, you can rotate the screen and all sorts of uh, wonderful things. Uh, so that looks like the real arcade thing. Uh, to, now we've done an arcade, let's move on to doing an actual computer. So let's try the uh, Commodore 64. And uh, let's uh, switch to NTSC and uh, mount uh, a disk. Oh, it's at the top. Now the uh, keyboard is going to be different for the uh, Commodore layout than it is for our standard layout, so it might take a little bit of getting used to. So there we go, we got Mule up and running. Uh, sorry, I forgot to set up my microphone so you don't hear any of the uh, music. However, it is going through the TV, through the HDMI. So um, here, I'll just speed it up so you can see some of the animations and some of the, uh, the, the graphics. 
and let's move on to uh, another core. Um, go to exit and then choose core. Uh, I'll show you an Apple II, I think, even though I don't have any files loaded right now. But it just shows you that, hey, if I had uh, a disk to, to load, I could uh, load it right now. Right, let's go to another core. I don't know what happened to my recording, but I just loaded the uh, NES uh, core. And now I'm going to load a ROM. So I do that by pressing F12, clicking on load. And voila, we have uh, an NES ROM running. So I've shown you how to load an arcade, how to load a computer, and how to load a console. Uh, the only thing left is showing you how to run a utility. Now the only utility I'm aware of is the memory test. And you'll have to look uh, up on Mr. as to what exactly this display means. I'm not going to go into detail right now. So enjoy using your Mr. FPGA system.